Hey YouTube, it's the test lead. And today we're gonna to talk about QA API testing for manual and automation QA engineers. Often in a QA space, whether you do automation or manual testing, we mainly focus on front end visual testing. So that means when I go to a website, I visually see the buttons and the text and stuff like that. So that's front end testing. There's a whole nother side of testing called back end testing that involves APIs. I'll explain what that means later on, so stay with me for right now. But high level, just try to follow. Now, here's an analogy to help you understand a little bit better. When I go to a restaurant, I talk to a waiter. I give that waiter my order. That waiter then goes to the chef and tells them my order. The chef makes the order in the background. I don't see that part. And then once it's finished, the waiter brings it out to me. I then see the final product. Now let's transition that into software testing. That final product or the final meal that the waiter brings out is normally the front end because that's what the customer or end user sees. That's the usual type of software testing. Now API testing is testing what the chef and a waiter do in the background that you don't see. You see the waiter go out into the back and talk to the chef and then magically come out with your meal. But what happens in the background? The waiter communicates to the chef and then the chef cooks it up. The waiter and the chef work as an API and application and do all the work in the background. So for any web page application, we have the two sides, the front end, what the customers see when they log onto the website and then the back end, that's what happens behind the scenes and all the workings for when you press a button, the back end comes involved. So that button redirects someone to a different page. Or when you try to buy something, the back end does its magic and allows you for that transaction to happen. API testing is not mandatory for manual or automation QA. However, the larger your skill set, the more marketable you are, the higher your pay for when you find a job. So first let's dive deeper into what is an API? API is an acronym that stands for Application Programming Interface. And it's basically just a way for two or more computer programs to communicate with each other. APIs are a very convenient way for different modules in a computer to share and transfer information to each other. If you have a smartphone or a computer with internet, there's a good chance that you use APIs every day without even realizing it. Mobile applications such as your banking application use APIs to retrieve bank information and send payments. The application connects to the internet and then sends information to a server. The server then receives the information, performs the required actions, and then sends it back to your phone. So what does this mean in regular terms? When you go to your Chase application or banking application on your phone, you log in, put your username and password in, and then press log in. The application is taking that information and sending it to its databases and its servers and checking, hey, is this valid or not? If it is, cool, let that person log in. That process is done through API calls. An API endpoint is a digital location where an API receives a request about a resource that exists on its server. Usually, an endpoint is a URL or a uniform resource locator that provides the location of the resource on a server. I know that a lot was just thrown at you, but now that you have a high level understanding of APIs and how they work, basically any transaction on any application, they usually use APIs. Let's dive into how to test an API. API testing. API testing involves analyzing an API to confirm that it meets the expected functionality, reliability, security, and performance. This type of testing focuses on the business logic, security, and data responses of the application. API testing is usually done by making an API request call to one or more of the endpoints for an API. Remember the endpoints it's basically the transactions that happen back and forth. They have an endpoint or code setup that does the transaction. 
high level, just think about it like that. Every endpoint does a transaction. For example, let's say you want to deposit money into your bank account. There's going to be an endpoint for deposits. Let's say you want to retrieve money from your account. There's going to be a different endpoint that lets you retrieve money. So when you press the withdraw button on your mobile application, the API call for withdrawals gets called with your information on it and returns your new funds. So like I said, every transaction or action, an API gets called. Just think of it like that. An API is an action. So for API testing, we're going to test those actions. When doing API calls, you make the transaction and then compare the results that you see against the expected results. Just how you would do for a regular test case with doing front end testing or web page testing. So you have your test case with all the steps and then you make the API call and then you have your expected results and then the actual results. And this testing can be done either by manual testing or through automation. Approaching API testing. When doing API testing, you want to first find a scope and flows of the application. Then think about the expected responses for successful and unsuccessful requests being made to the endpoints. Once this is decided, a test plan and test cases can be written that cover things such as the response time from the endpoint, authorization, HTTP status codes, and error codes. Now let's talk about the types of API testing. Different types of API testing can be carried out to make sure that the endpoints or the transaction code are working as expected. Some examples include validation testing, functional testing, security testing, and load testing. So now that you high level understand what an API is, basically code that does transactions in the background and you understand how to test it, now let's talk about some tools for testing APIs. API testing tools. Tools can be used for API testing so you test it faster, more efficiently, and it's just easier to use a tool than to use other methods. Some of the most popular tools are Postman, Testem, SOAP UI, and Apigee. So now you have all this new information, but most importantly, why is API testing important? API testing ensures that an API works when expected and unexpected behavior is carried upon it. With API testing, we can quickly identify bugs in our application. By testing APIs directly, we can quickly troubleshoot and pinpoint where the problems are. Because think about it, when you're doing your front end testing on a web page and something crashes, it's hard to say what causes the crash because so much stuff is happening in the background. But for testing everything in the background individually, we can pinpoint, oh, this right here failed and call it out like that. As software testers, our goal is always to limit the amount of bugs that get released to production. By testing APIs directly, we can do that in a very efficient and easy manner. I'll make future videos if you want that dive deeper into the tools. I have one for Postman already, but the other ones I can also make videos for that way you can add them to your skill set. If you found this video helpful at all, please like, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, or suggestions for future videos, please leave them below. If you need help on your QA journey, check out my book, QA Must Know Vocabulary. And most importantly, don't forget to learn something new today.